the Honourable Member for Trinity Spadina. Got a general review today that uh, one out of three airline safety inspections were not done. Why weren't they done? There's just not enough staff. Ah. So even when traffic, air traffic is increasing by 4% this year, the Conservative is cutting $17 million from aviation safety and $60 million from Transport Canada. Inspectors will be cut. Air traveler safety will be at risk. How can the Minister justify these dangerous cuts to inspectors that keep our planes safe? The Honourable Minister of Thank you, Mr. Speaker. She don't choose the right number, but for sure I will have more questions. For the moment, I will thank the Auditor General for his work, and we accept his recommendation. The Auditor General confirms that Canada is one of the safest aviation systems in the world. That's what he said today. My department already identified these shortcomings, and I can confirm that some of the recommendations are already in place, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. The Conservatives just don't understand their reckless cuts will have real safety consequences. The Auditor General found there was no plan to meet inspection needs, no up-to-date information to assess risk, and no management oversight, no approval process. And it took the Minister sometimes 10 years to deal with emerging safety issues. 10 years. Will the minister clean up his department and stop these dangerous cuts? Here, here. <laughs> the minister of Transport. Mr. Speaker, we're always working to make air travel as safe, safer and as safe as possible. Our actions deliver results. Since 2000, the number of aviation accidents fell by 25 percent, Mr. Speaker. The Auditor General confirmed that we are making real progress by being the first country in the world to implement safety management systems approach and will continue to be better, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Vaudreuil-Soulange. The closure of Avios is imperiling Canada's reputation as a leader in aeronautics. Some investors are interested, but they have to be assured that they will get the Air Canada contract. The municipalities affected want to find a solution, as do the provincial government. So, Mr. Speaker, will this government work with the municipalities in the provinces, as well as Air Canada and investors, in order to find a solution? <laughs> 